between his five marriages, John Claude Van Damme is father to three kids, Christopher, Bianca, and Nicholas. But out of these three, Bianca is the child that everyone talks about the most. And there's actually a very good reason for this. I mean, see for yourselves. Hey, baby, come, come here. That's my daughter. Oh, come over here, sweetheart. You're uh, yeah. beautiful. Uh, yeah, of course. Can you guys say your names? Yeah. And you're watching live Bianca, with your can you show? Sorry, Dave. My publicist. Okay. Bianca, can you show your dress to NBC? Yes. Oh, she's so cute. No, because she bought it yesterday. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. You should model. Are you a model? No, no. Should be. You see, even though Van Damme has been married five times, he has married Gladys Portuguese, Bianca's mom, twice. And as you can see for yourself, the woman is literally a piece of work. Van Damme and his wife Gladys welcomed their baby girl on October 17th, 1990. Bianca's full names are Bianca Van Varenberg, although she later dropped her father's last name and she now goes by Bianca Brie, but more on that later. And just so you know, Gladys Portuguese, Bianca's mom, is actually Van Damme's second wife out of the four women he married. She's Christopher's mom, so Bianca and Christopher share the same birth mom. And Gladys is Van Damme's current wife. So out of the four women Van Damme married, he only go back with Gladys and they are now living happily ever after. Uh, GSP, uh, right. Alamusi, um, all good actors are going to be a cool movie. Because of Van Damme's constant splits from his wives, Bianca didn't have the best relationship with her father. And even at some point, she even dropped her father's last name. It's complicated, Bianca says in a recent interview. I always have people coming up and telling me how much they love my dad. It's nice to hear, but it's like, what does that have to do with me? Although Bianca also admits that she and her dad are working on mending their fractured relationship. Yeah, it was tough. It's never been like I'm my father's little girl or princess. Our relationship definitely had its ups and downs, but now we are cool. We talk and we hang out, but it's not like I'm calling him being like, hey dad, let's grab a bite or let's talk about life. We just go to the gym and kick and stuff, Bianca says in a recent interview. Well, that's definitely a step in the right direction, yeah. Just like I said earlier, Bianca has two siblings, Christopher and Nicholas. Although some few months ago, the last child, Nicholas, was arrested and charged with aggravated assault after he allegedly had his roommate at knife point. He didn't go scot-free though, as he got 18 months of probation and some months of community service. And while we are not saying that Nicholas is a bad kid, I mean, he's still young so his excesses can still be overlooked, his elder brother Christopher is mature and responsible. I mean, except there's a newly released movie that has Christopher featured in it, he hardly see him in the news. Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. Can you guys say your names yeah. and you're watching? Bianca and her siblings are living life. I mean, they are kind of successful at their respective careers, and with their dad's net worth of over forty million dollars, the Van Verbergs are definitely doing okay. Since 2008, Bianca has appeared in over ten films, five of which are her dad's. But as she's trying to make it on her own, Bianca and her dad's bond is stronger than ever. Well, talking about being a fashionista and slaying, Bianca is a pro. I think she does a little bit of modeling. I mean, she's beautiful, and even though she does not really wear designers and all, she slays in her essentials any day, any time. Model? No, no. Should be. She How just, do you feel about that? <laughs> no, no, no. She just finished a, a, a project called UFO opening uh, in theaters, I don't know when, in a couple of months. Okay. Yeah, very cool. that's cool. 